drastic change. The 16th century was violent but effective in the formation of European history. The most important changes in this century regarded the church and its religion. Catholics and Protestants faced many tough times in this century, one of which being the period of 1562 to 1598, the French Wars of Religion. French Protestants were very numerous in 16th century France. These people were known as Huguenots. They were highly persecuted within the French monarchy. France had recently lost a king, Henry II, who was replaced by a young and ignorant king, Francis II. So three powerful families, the Bourbons, Montmorency Chatillons, and the Guise, competed for influencing the king's religious policies. The guys were the most powerful and convincing of the three, so Francis II listened and made sure France was a Catholic country. The other two families became the political leaders of the French Protestant resistance and planned to kidnap the Catholic king, but failed in 1560. Many people opposed the guys and joined the Calvinist church only to oppose the guys. Catherine de' Medici, originally allied with the Protestants, thinking that she would be helping to preserve the monarchy. Then, the Duke of Guise ordered a surprise attack against the Protestants, massacring many people. Catherine hesitated to send armies against the Guise, resulting in the submission to Guise power. Because of the state of instability that France was in, Eight religious wars were fought in total. The first two resulted in many deaths, most notably the Duke of Guise and Corday, who was one of the most important people in the Protestant movement at the time. The third war ended with the Peace of Saint Germain in Laye, which gave the Protestants or Huguenots religious freedom and power. This should be the end of the story, but Catherine decided that she wanted France to be Catholic, so she secretly plotted against the Protestants, and with the guise as Protestant influence grew in the country, Catherine tried to have the new leader of the Protestants, Clevenant, assassinated, but failed to kill him. So she convinced Charles that she tried to kill Clevenant because the Huguenots were plotting against them and that executions were needed. On August 24th, 1572, Catholic power executed Coligny and 3,000 other Huguenots and launched planned attacks on them for the next three days, killing 20,000 more people. This bloody event is known as the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. Pope Gregory VIII and Philip II celebrated while it became an international struggle for the Protestants to survive. Afterwards, the Protestants declared an active political resistance that would have been approved by Luther and somewhat by Calvin. Three Calvinist works were written for the defense of their religion. The French king at the time was Henry III, who was supported by Huguenots and neutral Catholics. He instituted the Peace of Bayeux in May of 1576, which granted the Huguenots religious freedom, but then changed his mind and revoked the peace. The Catholic League was prospering, and then Henry executed the Duke and Cardinal of Guise. He was then forced to ally with Henry of Navarre. Henry III was killed by a Dominican friar, causing Henry of Navarre to become king, Henry IV. The new Henry was Protestant and heavily liked. He had a bold idea that ended up working to perfection. Because Henry ruled over a dominantly Catholic country, he announced his abandonment of Protestantism for the sake of peace. The Protestants were horrified at first, but most of the people trusted him and rallied to his side. The Catholic League vanished and the wars were over. The Treaty of Vervins officially ended the wars and the Edict of Nantes, instituted by Henry IV, granted Protestants and Huguenots substantial religious freedom. After all his good work, Henry was assassinated by a Catholic fanatic in May of 1610.
that the French wars with religion were similar to the Punic Wars that happened in the 1st and 2nd centuries BC because so many people died for a small win. The Punic Wars lasted for 33 years, with around 30,000 people dying each year. The Roman objective was merely to influence others to follow them, making people ask, was it really worth it? Although the Punic Wars were on a much larger scale and lasted for a longer amount of time, the French Wars of Religion are definitely comparable to the Punic Wars in that so many people died in a smaller cause than, say, a world war.